High tunnels are becoming increasingly popular for use by small farm operators who often direct market to consumers. They have also proven to be economically advantageous to farmers who wish to capitalize on high prices obtained either early or late in the growing season. Extension and research personnel at the University of Kentucky have been working to develop a low-cost high tunnel covered with a single layer of plastic that can be quickly assembled. The following demonstrates step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble this type of tunnel. This design is constantly being modified to find the most economical use of money and labor while still providing a sturdy structure. By assembling the tunnel over preformed beds, we can use traditional tractor-mounted bed shapers instead of specialized equipment. Our anchors are made from 1-inch diameter, 18-inch long sections of steel pipe with a single turn of auger flight welded to the end and short cleats near the top. Commercially available earth anchors used in vineyards when modified could be an alternative. Anchors are placed on 8-foot centers the entire length of the tunnel. If any snow load is expected, they should be spaced no further than 6 feet apart. The width spacing is generally 12 feet, enough to easily cover two beds made on 6-foot centers. The anchors are then augered into the ground with a small hydraulic driven motor which can be hooked to a tractor. Anchors are driven into the ground about 18 inches so that the hook welded on the side is near the soil level. One and a half inch diameter Schedule 40 PVC pipe is placed over the anchors. 20-foot pipe will form a tunnel 12 feet wide at the base with a center height of just over 6 feet. Pipe should be painted with latex paint. Experience has shown that non-painted pipe may cause plastic to degrade where it contacts the pipe. End walls are made from 2x4 treated lumber and have a number of aluminum channels attached to them for fastening plastic. They are quick to put in place and attach to end loops. In addition, ropes are run from either side of the door to anchors that are sunk deep in the ground. Mobile home anchors are inexpensive and work well for this purpose. A lightweight metal pipe is then attached to the top of each PVC hoop using aluminum cross connectors. A typical source of pipe would be the top rail for a chain link fence. This pipe is very important as it gives the entire tunnel rigidity. Demonstration plots showed that tunnels with the center pipe withstood 60 miles per hour wind gust while those without the pipe did not. The rigid pipe also helps shed water after a rain. Ropes are then attached to anchors at each end and attached to the first three PVC bows on either end in crisscross fashion. These ropes help tighten the tunnel and improve end wall stability. Plastic is then unrolled and pulled over the house. Because the plastic is meant to be removed during the winter months, a lightweight 4 mil plastic can be used if desired. However, 6 mil plastic has shown to be able to withstand wind to a much greater extent in central Kentucky. Once pulled over the hoops, the ends of the plastic are attached to the end walls using wiggle wire put into pre-fastened channels. Then nylon rope is fed back and forth over the plastic attaching to the cleats welded to the side of the anchors. The rope is sent down the tunnel and attached to every other anchor. Then it is brought back up the tunnel and attached to the remaining anchors. The rope is twisted at each cleat so it can be easily tightened as needed. By using the rope to hold the plastic cover down, it is not necessary to permanently affix the plastic to any base. Therefore, as the weather warms, the plastic can be pulled up on each side, easily venting the crop inside. In one study in Lexington, Kentucky, organic colored bell peppers were grown in this type of structure during the summer. The plastic was raised along the sides for ventilation, but left on the hoops. This served to keep rain off the peppers, reducing fruit rot and the spread of bacterial spot disease. Total assembly time for a 160 foot long tunnel from start to finish can be done with two to three people in about three to six hours, depending on experience level. Each end wall would take an individual about two hours to build. While these tunnels only give about two to three degrees Fahrenheit of frost protection alone, they do effectively increase the number of hours above 50 degrees when used in the spring. 
Thus, they promote rapid growth and early fruit when used for tomatoes. While not for everyone, these inexpensive tunnels can give growers a jump on the season without a large investment of capital.